How do I protect myself from negative energy during a reading? And this is kind of along the lines of that idea of clearing our cards, right? How do I protect myself from negative energy while I'm reading? I will also tell you I have no concerns about this either. You know, I've heard from people who have questions and fears and concerns about opening themselves up to negative energy when they do a card reading. But I think that we can, in many ways, view a card reading as a conversation. And so my question is, when you have a conversation with someone, do you feel the need to ground and protect and to shield? If the answer is yes, some people do, absolutely, that's okay. Go ahead and do it. And for me, card reading is very much like a guided an insightful kind of conversation between me, the person I'm reading for, and the cards. And so my question is, in that kind of conversation, what is there to protect ourselves from? Um, to protect ourselves from the spirits who come in? I only deal with spirits of love and light. That's all I open the door for. And so what that means is that no negative spirits are welcome or allowed. And as the reader, I have the power when I open the door of what I open the door to. We all have the power to determine who we let into our house. And so your energetic house has a door. And you have the power to determine who or what you open that door to and what you welcome in. And if you say, only love and light are welcome here, so it is. If you say, I'm not opening the door, I do not open the door to any negativity, any negative entities or spirits, and so it is. And so we have the power to allow in only love and light if that is our intention. And so what that means is that we have the power to only offer messages of love and light and to only welcome in positive high vibration energy. So in my opinion, when I read, there's nothing to protect myself from. I've got the cards here, which are my cards, which resonate with me, which I use for messages of love and light. I've got me here, who's really only ever striving to be a vessel of love and light. Sometimes I need some help with that, like today when I was swearing at Facebook. <laughs> but, you know, um, I'm always striving to raise my vibe and to bring the love and the light. And so that's me. And then what am I protecting myself from? The other person? Sure, okay. You know, it would be, again, just like a conversation. If they're not touching my cards, interacting with my cards, if I'm just giving them the messages, then... To me, it's just like having a conversation with someone in the grocery store, which, by the way, we can, of course, pick up energy from other people no matter where we are. The grocery store, for instance. And so, you know, if you're the kind of person who picks up people's energy and really takes it on, you may very well find yourself needing to ground and shield when you're at the grocery store. That's okay. Do that. And so you may very well be the kind of reader who feels the need to ground and shield while you're reading. Absolutely, go ahead and do that. It's all about personal preference and what feels right to each of us. And for me personally, I have no worries about a card reading and any kind of energetic exchange any more than I have a worry about an energetic exchange at the grocery store with the cashier who's bringing some negative energy themselves, for instance. And so that's the way that I view it. I also personally am always cultivating my own energy and always engaging in activities that really keep my vibe high and keep me feeling good. I talk about those in Unlock Your Card Magic as well and about how that impacts your readings. And so I personally am just a really strong, energetic person anyway. Ha, 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 ha.